Mrs. Victoria Irosi, the wife of the late Major General JTU Agu Irosi, has fired back at Lieutenant General Theophilus Danjuma over his harsh comments on the late Agu Irosi. Danjuma speaking to the Guardian, the former Minister for Defense, described the late Agu Irosi as useless desk clerk, head of state. His comment, which did not go down well with Mrs. Victoria Irosi, the widow, returned fire accusing Danjuma for the death of her late husband 40 years ago. She also described Danjuma as useless and hopeless and invoked the wrath of God on him, causing him that vultures will feed on his corpse. Whoa! <laughs> this, is, this is serious. So at that age, this one, oh, hmm, this one is still pained. Of course, she will still be pained for Danjuma to be making such statements. They work together and, of course, the woman is still alive and it's really surprising that the woman is still alive. The woman is really aged. He's old. Well, <clears throat> a lot of things have happened and that's why we always say that whatever you you do now is going to be a reference point in the future. People always think that they can get away with anything. People just think that people will easily forget what they do at the present. That in future, maybe with time, with the events, a lot of things we just... We fade off, but it does not work that way. It doesn't work that way. It does not happen most times. Some people get away with this. They will say something or they will do something, and with time, people might forget. But if it is painful to the people it affected or the victims, definitely it will not. It won't just go away like that, unless maybe it is not something of, of what they can really remember or something that has really hurt them. For this woman to have heard this thing, of course, you don't expect her to be quiet. She will. She will, she will reply and she will respond and that is exactly what she has done. If indeed Danjuma made such statement, it is very unfortunate but whatever a man says, that he will reap also. True talk, vultures are sit eating his people now. The same people he killed his boss to please are now after him and his generations. This is mere repetition. Danjuma said this more than five years ago and Victoria Aguirosi fired back. Mm. Okay, but a lot of people, we are just hearing, a lot of people didn't know about this. A lot of people didn't hear that. It says so. Irosi ADC. Irosi trusted Danjuma, but Danjuma betrayed Irosi and personally killed Irosi in the name of their one Nigeria. Over 50 years after Danjuma killed Irosi, have things changed? Saraba, Danjuma's home state, and other middle bed states, and the whole Nigeria will tell better. Meanwhile, hmm. Things are really happening. Oh, honestly, it is it, it is a pathetic story. Danjuma is a betrayer like Judas Iscariot. I don't believe he ever said that, but if he did, could someone tell him that the long life he has is just to see his own eyes, the wages of his treasury? Again, could someone remind him that same fullness he helped to power have vowed not to only reap his own, but reap them in the market square. You can't deceive God. Whatever a man sows, definitely he shall reap. I said amen to this old woman's prayer. Go and beg that woman because she said it out of anger and you are guilty of betraying your master who was her husband. Big no day for that. Mm, it is very serious. It is only an evil man that can kill the man is supposed to guard. I agree that he will not end up with. Let him enjoy as much as he can. Despicable and avaricious. Madam, not only virtue will heat up his decaying hopes, but other carnivores will partake too. The charlatans, betrayer, greedy, nefarious, partially demented, and hey, regret regrettably, they have baked general claims to be a billionaire through the appropriation of state owned oil blocks to himself is unfortunate surely vultures will feed on you okay even theophilus danjuma you think that you you are free you are a betrayer you will pay dearly for killing general going in Rusi. if i have my way i would do much i would do worse things <clears throat> you are seeing my first targets oh this person means business so. didn't uh, ezogu betray sadana who is 
uh, who Sadana trusted who utterly. What happened then is military affairs were not concerned about that now. Madam, Danjuma did, did no wrong to your inordinate ambitious husband. If Danjuma dies, he would be buried in golden caskets. Someone say, God bless you for saying that. Please let the woman, you know, show her husband to go to the position or how he got to that position. Danjuma will be buried honorably. This is why I don't pity any tribe being killed by Fulanis in the north because it's God that is punishing the entire north. What they did to the Igbos in the past and refused to send their apologies. Igbo are God chosen ones. And anyone that cause us must cause must be caused by God. Whatever a man sow, definitely he shall reap the law of karma. Fifty four years ago. Hmm. This is serious. Christians fighting their selves. It is shameful act. As old as T Y Danjima is, he can see see such. Please, people, avoid grammar cause, or if not, ninety nine percent may come to pass. This is serious for this woman at his at her old age to be saying this. Shows that it's T pain. Is T T is really really pain. Full and Esme are on him today. Let us see how the matter will end finally. What Danjuma did is not good, but who started the show? You should now, you should know uh, in those days, military power is a god to everyone. Yes, the old woman has said it all. The TV station is crying over this man. With this comments over his dead colleagues, vultures, this is, this is serious. Erosi also killed others. So ego should sh stop all this. Danjuma, God bless you. Up Nigeria Army. If you're born of a woman, Danjuma is still alive. Confront him and receive your your bullet. Shame for all the people who are saying bad things about uh, Danjuma. Hmm. According to Malachi 2, 1 to 3, Danjuma will eat his words before his eventual death. And his death will be more shameful than that of Hiroshi. The calamity that will befall his family before his real death, the blood of his boss will forever hurt him. Okay, Danjuma, you are better be careful. Go and beg the woman. Danjuma is already caused in life and in death. Though hands be joined, he shall never be well with the wicked like John Juma. Danjuma is an animal busy doing all buckery as his benefit for being in Nigeria army. He's one of those that destroy this country god is not asleep at all he's not asleep at all he will give to every man according to his work everyone will be rewarded according to their works and unfortunately things people are not even learning people are not learning people are not taking precaution of what could happen to others i just believe that if people have a sympathy of other people if people have that a mindset if they care about others if you love others the way you love yourself. Honestly, this life would have been a, a you know a, a better place. But unfortunately, people are not ready to do that. Some people believe in other people's happiness, in other people's sadness. Other people's sadness makes them happy, makes them feel good. You can imagine such a thing. Well, some people will tell you that oh, it's it's it's, it's history. It's past. It's past. Maybe that is how God destined it to be because it has happened. It has happened. I think everybody just have to move on. But history can never be erased. Even if it is erased, it cannot be erased in the hearts of men. What people feel, it cannot ever be erased. Even if it is erased on a black and white, definitely it will still be in the hearts of many. And many people will continue to say what they think and what they feel. It can't be erased from their mind at all. <clears throat> God is not asleep. If actually he made a comment, then it must be, uh, it must be an insensitive statement. Ogadanjuma, your words were too harsh for the widow to bear. You see why young army officers are leaving. As an elder statesman, you should be mindful of what you say. Don't just conclude. Think before you do or say anything. Okay? Do I hear people say a very loud amen? Mm. Very disappointing statement from the general. People need to tame 
their tongue. They have to redo your tongue. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let's know what you think.